Tuesday, July 12th, during the Austin-Houston match, USL League One welcomed a newcomer to the family. Santa Barbara Sky FC is projected to join Wilmington, North Carolina to start play in 2024. The Sky is the first North American professional sports team to feature a real woman as their primary logo. St. Barbara, known in the Eastern Orthodox Church as the Great Martyr Barbara, was an early Christian Lebanese and Greek saint and martyr. Accounts place her in the 3rd century in Heliopolis, Phoenicia, present-day Baalbek, Lebanon. St. Barbara was born in 273 AD in Nicomedia, an ancient Greek city which later became the eastern capital of the Roman Empire. She spent most of her life as a patron to minors before being martyred by her own father due to her Christian faith in 306 AD. The sky is being led by former Liverpool FC executive Peter Moore. On the morning of Thursday, July 14th, the United Soccer League welcomed another expansion city to the family. New Orleans, Louisiana will join Des Moines, Iowa as new USL Championship League clubs in 2025. The city, having a major professional soccer team, will give sports fans in the city additional options for entertainment during months where the New Orleans Saints and the LSU Tiger Gridiron football teams are not playing. A women's professional football team will also be coming to the city under the USL's Super League. The lead group for the franchise, USL NOLA, is actively engaging with fans for input on team name, logo, colors, and potential locations for the club. One potential location, the Shrine on Airline and Matari, is one of many locations being considered. However, USL Championship stadiums tend to be in the heart of urban cities, where fans can have easy access to and from the stadium with multiple transportation options, including transit, bus, and train. This means the Shrine on Airline may not meet USL Championship standards. A prime candidate, however, appears to be the brand new billion dollar Riverfront District, which is to serve as a neighborhood that will include a variety of formats including condos and apartments with affordable and workforce housing, retail space, hotels, restaurants, services, and other amenities. The River District will also feature a variety of entertainment options including a live music venue, movie theater, and a potential site for the new Civil Rights Museum. Warren Smith and Jamie Gunn, the lead investors for New Orleans Pro Soccer Team, is believed to have a preferred location by the end of 2022. Per NOLA.com, New Orleans has a long history with soccer and in fact was one of the first cities in the world to develop leagues for the game known in the rest of the world as football. European immigrants, particularly Irish immigrants, started soccer league in the 1850s and expanded participation through the late 19th century. Jefferson City Football Club played the first organized soccer match in New Orleans in 1859. 